Live from the campus of Washington and Lee University with news from Rockbridge County. This is the Rockbridge Report. President Vladimir Putin wrapped up a two hour long high stakes video call earlier today as concerns grow over Russia's military buildup on the Ukraine border. The summit comes as the Pentagon sees, quote, added military capability by Russian forces. U.S. intelligence obtained by CNN estimates, estimates Moscow could invade Ukraine as soon as next month. President Biden said he is putting together what he calls, quote, the most comprehensive and meaningful set of sanctions aimed at deterring Russia. In Ukraine, President Zelensky says his country's armed forces are capable of fighting off any attack from Ukraine or from Russia. COVID-19 cases are on the rise. The U.S. is averaging more than 120,000 new cases and more than 1,600 deaths every day. Public health officials say that 99% of new cases are the Delta variant, but Omicron is spreading. Cases of the variant have been reported in at least 19 states. Emerging evidence shows it may spread more quickly than Delta, but it could be less severe. But experts say there's still more to learn about Omicron. In the meantime, they say vaccines are our best protection. Today marks the 80th anniversary of the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor. The bombing that pushed the U.S. into World War II killed more than 200,300 U.S. members of the military. Nearly half were Marines and sailors serving on the USS Arizona. About 30 survivors and 100 other World War II veterans are gathering in Hawaii and commemorate the occasion. President Biden and the First Lady paid their respects today as well with a trip to the World War II Memorial in D.C. A three-judge panel overseeing a recount in a close Virginia State House race upheld the Republican candidate's victory last Friday. The decision also reaffirmed the GOP's takeover of the chamber and completes the party's sweep of last month's elections. Democrats had requested recounts in two races with razor-thin margins that left open the, the remote possibility of a 50-50 split. Those wins were a huge turnaround in a state where the GOP had not won a state race since 2009. Democrats still hold a 21 to 19 majority in the Senate, where elections won't be held until 2023. Actor Jesse Smollett is set to take the stand again today. He's on trial for making false reports to a police about a racist and homophobic attack. Yesterday, Smollett denied that he faked the attack for publicity. Smollett's testimony comes a week after the prosecution laid out its case against him. The 39-year-old is charged with six counts of disorderly conduct. The, act, the actor has pleaded not guilty to all charges. The Washington and Lee men's soccer team saw their historic season come to a close last weekend in an overtime loss in the NCAA semifinals. The top-ranked generals fell to sixth-ranked Connecticut College by a score of 2-1. to one. Adrian Zimmerman scored the lone goal for the generals in the 74th minute. It was his fifth straight game with the goal and his 11th goal of the tournament. The Camels then came back and tied the game in the 84th minute. With under a minute remaining in overtime, the Camels delivered the final blow to the Generals, who played the entirety of overtime down a man. The final four appearance marked the best finish in, a, in program history for WNL. The team also set the program record for most goals, goals scored in a season with 70. The Washington and Lee men's and women's basketball teams both emerged victorious last weekend. The men's team exploded on offense for a 94-88 victory over Randolph. Sophomore forward Rob DeCibio put up 28 points, while senior guard Mark Lamondola recorded 20 points, 8 assists, and 6 steals. On the women's side, head coach Christine Clancy set a program record with her 124th win as the Generals took down Guilford 72-61. Senior guard Kate Groninger led the way with 20 points, while sophomore guard Hannah Malik added 18 of her own. The Generals moved to 5-2 and two on the season and maintained their undefeated conference record. It's been a day full of clear skies in Lexington as we take a look at the local radar, though there are some clouds to the southwest of Lexington. Turning now to our five-day forecast, today the high is, is around 42 degrees with a low of 29. Tomorrow we'll see a chance of rain with a high of 47. Then on Thursday we can expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 45. Friday, temperatures will crack the 50s again with rain expected. Then Saturday, it will be cloudy, but temperatures could reach 70 degrees. That's it for our Tuesday live update. Stay current with Rockbridge Area News by logging on to rockbridgereport.com.
www.wlu.edu and join us on Thursday at 5 p.m. for the next Rockbridge Report live newscast.